Hi, this is Jill Russo Foster and this week's edition of my newsletter. I want to talk to you about cruising. If you've been following for the last few issues, you know we just came back from an amazing cruise in Europe. Um, so while cruises um, appear to be inexpensive because they're all inclusive, um, it's true, but there are many add-ons and I'm going to teach you how to avoid the add-ons. So there's add-ons for certain beverages, certain dining, um, fitness, shore excursions, in addition to the regular ones that you're thinking of. So, and they can add up and it's a cashless system where you swipe your room card and then you're billed onto your room. And sometimes that bill can be shocking, but I'm gonna teach you how to avoid it. So on a cruise ship, yes, you know alcohol is always added on to anything, but did you know that sodas and bottled water aren't available free? Glasses of water are, but soda isn't. You can buy soda packages. If you're a big beverage drinker, figure out what the cost is of a individual soda versus buying the package. Maybe worth your while. Also check with your cruise line because some cruise lines let you bring things. So for example, when we travel, we always stop at a store and bring on bottled water of our own. Um, much less cheaper when you buy it at the grocery store before you head to the pier than from the cruise line. Dining. Yes, most of your food is included in it but there's specialty restaurants, specialty coffee, things like that, that can add the bill up. Choose wisely, they may be worth it for you, but I want you to plan accordingly. Um, there's always buffets and the main dining rooms that are included. Um, fitness, most ships that we sail on always have a gym. There's a walking, jogging track all free. Some of the classes aren't. I have to admit, I do pay sometimes to do a water aerobics class in the pool, but it's a choice I make. Um, most of the time I walk on the walking track or go into the gym. And sometimes I know that I can do morning stretch um, all for free versus paying for it. Shore excursions, another big expense to you. There are disadvantages as well as advantages with booking with the cruise line. Obviously, the cruise line will charge you a fee. You have the reliability of the cruise line if there's an issue. And if you run late, the cruise line, the cruise ship will wait for you on their cruises. The downside is they can charge you a substantial amount for all that. Most of the time, we book without the cruise line. We choose to do it ourselves um, and pay a lesser fee and do the things we want without the big, big group. Um, for example, in Oslo, the boat docked right in downtown Oslo, Norway. There was no need to get on a tour. We use the regular in Europe and some places in America have a hop-on, hop-off tour to do what we wanted. Other times you can find through research, through chat rooms, other companies and do it there for half the price. All you have to do is check reviews, make sure you watch your time accordingly so you don't miss the ship because that can be really expensive. Do all your research ahead and plan that way. Until next time, this is Jill Russo Foster.